Hi, I'm Dr. James Dinicola Antonio of Wegmans Pharmacy, Ithaca, New York, lead author of our paper, L-Carnitine for the Secondary Prevention of Cardiovascular Disease, Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis, to be published in the June 2013 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. I'd first like to thank my esteemed co-authors, Drs. Chip Levy and James O'Keefe, as well as Drs. Hassan Ferris and Arthur Menezes for their excellent contributions to this manuscript. The idea for this meta-analysis actually comes from the fact that cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in Americans, and myocardial infarction is a high percentage of those deaths. It's been shown in ischemic events that L-carnitine levels are depleted. Also, L-carnitine has been shown to increase mitochondrial energy supply in the heart. This gave us the idea that L-carnitine in patients experiencing acute myocardial infarction may actually prevent deaths. Our meta-analysis included 13 trials in over 3,600 patients. L-carnitine compared to placebo or control showed a significant 27% reduction in all-cause mortality, a significant 65% reduction in ventricular arrhythmias, and a significant 40% reduction in anginal symptoms. Potential mechanisms for these benefits are multifactorial. L-carnitine has been shown to increase glucose oxidation, which is the preferred substrate that we want during an ischemic event because glucose oxidation actually produces more energy than free fatty acid oxidation. However, L-carnitine also increases free fatty acid oxidation. It shuttles free fatty acids from the cytosol into the inner mitochondrial membrane for improvement in uh, myocardial energy supply. In multiple trials, L-carnitine has shown an improvement in LV dilation. Also, a reduction in ventricular arrhythmias may be due to a reduction in free fatty acid intermediates that accumulate during a heart attack. L-carnitine binds to these free fatty acid intermediates, which have detergent effects on cellular membranes, which can lead to ventricular arrhythmias. So by the formation of acyl carnitines, which are freely diffusible in cellular membranes, L-carnitine causes the excretion of these free fatty acid intermediates that are detrimental during an ischemic event. L-carnitine also, in multiple trials, has shown a reduction in infarct size. So these are potential mechanisms of why L-carnitine was shown to significantly reduce all-cause mortality in our meta-analysis. Now, there are several dosages that were used in these trials. The dosage range were anywhere from really 2 grams to 14 grams, once, twice, to three times a day. Another dosage form besides oral administration was also used, and that was IV, either bolus um, or infusion. L-carnitine is an interesting amino acid. It's available over the counter. It was shown to be safe. These are potential advantages of using L-carnitine for the secondary prevention of cardiovascular disease. Some potential limitations would be that not all trials included in our meta-analysis were randomized double-blind, and some trials were also not in the era of optimal medical therapy, such as revascularization and high-dose statins, as well as uh, antiplatelet therapies. Despite these limitations, we feel that L-carnitine certainly could potentially be used in patients who experience an acute myocardial infarction. However, larger randomized control trials are required to confirm our results. We hope you benefited from this presentation based on the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you're interested in more information about Mayo Clinic Proceedings, visit our website at www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you will find additional videos on our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Twitter. For more information on healthcare at Mayo Clinic, please visit www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.